Today we're going to be dropping this Panasonic Toughbook CF31 and we're going to be dropping it 78 times. And the reason we're doing this is we're going to go through the military standard 810G, which make which this laptop is supposed to survive. Uh, basically, we do 26 drops from 48 inches, which is about here, and another 26 at 60 inches, which is about here. And then we're going to do 26 more drops from this height, which is 72 inches. So the CF31 that we're going to be testing today is in good condition. It has all of the port covers. You can see the back port cover, the side ports are all good. The bottom has all of its covers and the unit itself actually does work. We're going to turn on. Take a minute. There it is. See the Panasonic logo. And there we go. We are in Windows. So the unit does work. We have it ready to go. So now we're just going to let her drop. So after 26 drops at 48 inches, a couple things occurred. Number one, the one port cover popped off the side of the, um, you know, but the cover itself, so I guess it was just a cover of the cover. And if we open up the laptop, does it still turn on? Yeah, it still, it still powers on and the screen itself is not cracked at all. Now we're going to do it from 60 inches. So this is after dropping it 26 times from five foot. And a couple things occurred. We had a screw pop out of the bottom of the laptop and one of the port covers popped off. In addition, the battery cover that um, keeps the battery in the unit right here, it broke where the lat it latches. So that has broken. And to see if it powers on, I'm gonna put the battery back in. We're gonna open it up. However, if you look, uh, the keyboard, the key is popped off of the keyboard, but the screen itself, is still intact and, and not cracked. So, unfortunately, the laptop itself does not turn on and that's only after dropping it 26 times from the, the five foot distance. So, so far this laptop has gone through 52 drops. Uh, now we're gonna drop it from 72 inches and we're gonna see how the casing holds up and if anything else pops off this laptop. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. So this laptop so far has gone through 26 drops from 48 inches, 26 drops from 60 inches, and I just completed 26 drops from 72 inches. And if we take a look, the screen itself is not cracked. However, we already know it doesn't power up after the 60 inch drops. Uh, the casing itself is in pretty good condition. Another key popped off the keyboard, the F1 key popped off. But if I look here, another screw popped out as well. I had a screw off the bottom pop out and I'm not sure what that means. The handle, because it did get dropped on the handle, the plastic piece that holds the uh, touch screen stylus in place has kind of come out of the, the groove. But overall casing wise, I'm not seeing too much damage. You can see on the corners here where there's some denting going on as well as over here, but that's on the plastic. I'm not seeing any cracked. Well, I take that back. In fact, here's where the screw came out is on this corner piece. You can see where it's loose here. So that's where that screw came from. 
and the other screw apparently is the other corner on this side. So the two corner screws have popped out. And that was probably whenever we dropped it on that corner, whenever it hit on the corner of the laptop when it hit the uh, ground. Overall, casing wise, this laptop upheld. The screen itself looks like it uh, stayed pretty well intact with no cracks. However, the laptop itself does not turn on. Uh, you can't expect any laptop to survive completely through that many drops from those kind of heights. So that, kind of, that concludes our test of the CF31 drop test. Don't forget to subscribe to our, our channel. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about this test and if there's any improvements or any other uh, tests you'd like us to do. I'd really like to hear from you guys.